Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you this evening. This is actually a jukebox video, which we've done a few of here on our channel. Um, we always uh, hook it up and let it play a record so you can see what they sound like. But this is Rockola's 1989 Classic Rockola 498 model jukebox. Pretty classy looking machine, I think. I just like the way it looks. It looks like 1989. All that silver on it always reminds me of like, you know, Top Gun and stuff like that that probably came out around that time. <laughs> so it kind of looks like a, I don't know, I just like all that aluminum look even though none of it's aluminum. It's a cool looking game, uh, p jukebox though. Um, as I've said before in other uh, videos, these Rockolas from the 80s in my opinion were some of the best best machines they just sound cool they look cool they're pretty reliable um, fairly easy to work on easy to get parts for I think I don't know for sure I wasn't operating games back then but I would imagine in the 80s that the uh, the operators were very happy with their Rockola jukeboxes because they seem to just keep playing and playing and playing now since I've said that one this one will probably die tomorrow but as of right now it's working great so this is a uh, a Rockola 498. They made a version of this as well where you could play CDs on it. This was right when CDs were first starting to come into the jukeboxes. So they had a version where you replace these title strips with little uh, uh, things that held the CD strips so you could play a couple CDs. Um, this one doesn't have that option on it. This is just the straight record player version. Which is my favorite anyway, so I'm not complaining. It has this fake burled wood look on it. Rockola, very cool. It has this cool infinity mirror thing like they did a lot on the uh, on the on the front door. Very cool. Um, and it has a little thing down at the bottom. Now we had a Rockola 496. I believe it's a 496. 494, 496 uh, that we did uh, a few weeks ago. It sold really quickly. But we've got a video of it up here too on our YouTube channel. You can check that out if you like. Very similar machine, has the same basic look, but just different artwork and a different color. Um, here's the side, it's kind of like a gray. This one's actually kind of stained. We cleaned it up the best we could, but it's definitely not in perfect shape. It's also missing the coin door. I think the coin doors were the same on most of those Rockolas uh, from the late 70s all the way through the 80s, so we're going to track down one of those for it. But, uh, just got a nice look to it. Um, got the silver up at the top. And then the they switched from the ones that were before, like the Rockola 496s, they had push buttons still. These are actually, uh, it's like a membrane, you know, where you, it's hard to explain if you can't tell what I'm talking about. You just press a little spot and it makes it work. But the same basic layout. The same uh, CPU setup. We got this from a gentleman who used to operate them, and he had it at his house out in his garage. He had a whole bunch of uh, jukeboxes and games and stuff. We got this years ago, and we've been sitting on it, and uh, it was doing some weird stuff. I couldn't ever quite figure out exactly what was going on with it, so uh, we had kind of put it on the back burner for a while. We've got many, 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 many jukeboxes and arcade games and stuff that we're working on um, but we always I always kind of liked the way this one looked so I wanted to get back to messing with it so I finally whenever I got that other one the 496 it was so similar to this one that I uh, brought this one out of storage and started working with it eventually what I figured out was all these years this thing's been broke because of one tiny little capacitor in the power supply now we had to do other stuff to it you know there's you had to uh, uh, put a remote battery pack on the CPU board. There's a lot of connectors that need cleaned. Uh, the amp needs some uh, reworking, things like that. But generally speaking, the only thing keeping this thing from working was one tiny little capacitor in the power supply. It's a little three cent part. Um, now, I don't know if the thing broke on location and he had to bring it in because of that little part and never figured it out, or if it just died sitting out in his garage all those years. But, uh, Whenever he pulled it out of the location, it must have been... I'm a big country music fan, so this thing is full of country music. 
and it's all stuff that looks to me like would have been early 90s. So it was probably pulled off location in about 1995 or so. Um, it's got stuff like Alan Jackson Chattahoochee on it. I think that was probably 93 or so. It's got uh, My Blue Angel by Aaron Tippin. I remember that was probably 95 or so. So I think that's about when he uh, pulled this off location. And it was somewhere in a uh, in a bar or something that all they wanted to hear was country. So it's got a couple songs that aren't country. Like it's got this uh, George Thorogood here. But that's about as country as you can get and not be country. So uh, this thing is steeped in it. Let's just put it that way. And uh, that gentleman, actually, that we got this from has passed away. He's, a, he's an operator here kind of locally. And uh, so we thought, you know what? I remember him telling us whenever we bought this jukebox and a couple other ones that he really liked this one. So I thought, you know what? Let's just leave it exactly how he had it. We'll at least sell it that way. I'm sure whoever buys it will uh, swap out a lot of that stuff with their own songs uh, that they want in it. But this is a country jukebox, the way it sits. So there it is really cool it's a rock all of 498 and uh i will uh i'll uh turn off the lights and show you how this thing lights up really nice looking machine in my opinion and then we'll play a song and you can uh you can see how you think it sounds uh as interpreted through my camera and then interpreted through youtube's compression software <laughs> you can tell me how you think it sounds All right, folks, so that's what it looks like lit up. Check that out. Really cool looking machine. Our crane machine's lighting up a little more of it than usual. I just, I like these designs. I just think they, they did a really good job. Like I was saying, all of these Rockolas uh, from the 80s are pretty cool. Pretty sweet. So this is a 498, of course, so I will play a little song. This thing is full of country records, so I don't really uh, have a good rock and roll one to play, which is a little better. Uh, I don't see one, so let's find something here that uh, might be pretty good here. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Something with a little. Uh, here we go. This one will get your blood boiling. Get your get your your foot tapping. What you think? Now I got it turned up loud to show you how these suckers sound. Imagine you're in a bar or something. Got a beer beside you. You're waiting on your chili cheese nachos. <laughs>
Folks, so there you go. That is Rock Ola's 498. Super cool. Now, by the time you see this video, this Rock Ola may have uh, two stepped its way right out the door, right to somebody's house. We may not have it for sale anymore. But uh, you can see all the things that we do have for sale. We always like to keep a jukebox in, and usually it's right there by the door if you walk in our shop. Uh, we always try to keep at least one jukebox in, um, but plenty of arcade games. We always have arcade games and pinball machines for sale. You can see them all on our website at lionsarcade.com. Now, if you're local, stop by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina, just over the border. If you're not looking to buy an arcade game or a jukebox or whatever, you just like these old videos of these old... Uh, cool coin operated things that's really cool too just check us out on YouTube subscribe to us below every time we film a video like this uh, we'll upload it on uh, YouTube and it'll send you a little email telling you that there's a new one if you enjoy these types of videos subscribe to us so we will see you on the next video hope you enjoyed it